Uh, welcome to this demonstration of uh, Form Maker uh, by Isoperla. This is a demo of the, uh, the mapping function. And we're just going to create a very, uh, very simple uh, real estate agency type thing. Um, so first of all, we'll create a new form, add a page, change the page name to House Map, and we're going to add a map on the on the first page. Um, the section is where we uh, create our fields of course so we might as well put a, a decent label on there and then we'll go in and create our map so here we are here's our map and uh, we'll add a couple of pins to represent a couple of houses that are for sale and something very imaginative like uh, oh, let's say how to one for the title of the first one and notice that tag we'll come back to that later uh, change the color of the pin, and we'll add another one. And this school, what shall I call this? I don't know. House two. Uh, so we'll do that, and um, let's make that a different color as well. And we'll put in the tag again. There. There we go. So we've got a little map, very simple. Give it a name. And there we go. All done, I think. Yeah. Right. You see, it's slightly off center. Well, I can. Uh, just fix that by making it span the columns and I'll add a bit of space to the top above it. Notice this is in um, portrait mode I could quite easily just flip the uh, device around here and it would automatically adjust the landscape. Um, I'll add a little label after the uh, after the map so well, anything will do really so let's just say it's a label field uh, stick it at the bottom there it goes and again I'll just adjust it so that it looks a little bit nicer centrally aligned and spanning the columns and let's have to stick a couple of line breaks between the label and the map yeah that looks alright doesn't it right well let's add a page and this is where we're going to add some house details if we can get my mouse to work and let's uh, notice this is actually being done on the simulator on a Mac not on an actual iPad, but it works exactly the same on an iPad. It's if you you know, don't have a mouse, so if you use your your finger, but uh, other than that, it's exactly the same. Um, so let's create a field, and it's an image field, and this is where we're just going to show some pictures of the house, and we'll pick a couple of pictures that um, I've already loaded into the uh, onto the device. You can load them in using that little plus button where it says label image. That little plus, you can add images from your uh, from your device into the form. So there we go, it's a nice picture of a kitchen, and um, let's just adjust it slightly so it looks a little bit nicer, yeah, it's alright now. Okay, let's add a bit of text, um, what can we say about this, um, let's just say it's a nice new house or something. There we go, and it's, down, put it down the bottom, it's a label only field. Let's add that. Now there we go. We just need to adjust it slightly to make it centrally aligned and have a couple of spaces after it, that kind of thing. But we can do quite a lot to the labels really and add some text fields in there too, some actually editable text fields. But I'll tell you what, we'll ask a little question. Do you like this house? Do you like house one? Let's ask that. And that's a choice. Let's just say it's got two answers. We could have up to eight at this point. We could add more later if we wanted to, but let's go say yes, I like it, or no, I don't. There we go. We'll add that little choice field. There we go. There it is. And um, well, that's size one just about done, I think. So uh, let's clone that page and we'll create another house. So rather than starting again from scratch, we'll just clone this one. And then we'll just adjust it for house two. So we'll call it house two, the clone. And we'll click there, and then it will have automatically uh, created a new page for us, which is a copy of the house one. And we just need to change that now to our house two. And let's go in and just change the images. So we'll make those images. Uh, so we deselect an image and then select the ones we want. And um, we could just have one, but we. So that says, do you like house one? So let's change that to you like house house two. 
obviously this is all scrollable, so I can move this up and down. Uh, I think that's probably about it. So, right, back to those tags. Every page you can add a tag to, and from a map pin, you can choose to link it to that tag. So let's call this one H2. And the uh, the previous page, let's call that, ooh, what should we call that? Find out. Let's call that H1. So let's stick it in there, H1. Off we go. Now all we've got to do is just make sure that our pins actually point to those. Particularly. Now we can't change the map directly there. We have to go into the settings of the map because everything works via this settings method. So we have to go into the settings and then just make sure that says H2. And if that says H2, I must have remembered to put in H1 on the other one, surely. So we go back, we've designed the form. Let's now run it and see if it works. So this is in run mode. And this is what a user would actually do with your form. So click on H2, house 2, and it automatically goes to the second page, house 2. And if we click on house one, oh, it automatically goes to house one. There we go. Those are scrollable controls. I didn't show you that there, but you can scroll those images, obviously. Um, let's say that they like house one, and they don't like house two. Now, I really should have added an editable control so they could put in their name and their email address and that kind of thing, but I didn't bother. <clears throat> Look at the other demo if you want to see that sort of thing being done. But there we go. There's our results. So we've got a response saying one person liked house one, didn't like house two. I can create an email and email that to myself. And that's about it, really.